Sports. Four of the Packers' six losses have come by a single score, but they have still been losses. And while the scores have been close, the offense has been far off from its expected greatness. Too many missed throws, third down flaws, and awkward ifs adorn the team's 2018 resume. But Mike McCarthy is staying the course. There's not a whole lot uh, a difference between an incompletion and a big play. And, you know, so you see some of those things. But I, I think that's, that's something that every NFL team goes through. Our players are doing an exceptional job of com competing, communicating. And, you know, in my, in my belief is we'll just continue down that path and, and, our, and our execution will improve. In 16 as well, um, nobody thought we could do it. And then we came together. Got the job done. Can you never want to lose uh, a season, especially when you feel felt great, you know, starting the season out about our prospects. But uh, you know, we're going to battle the next next five weeks and put ourselves in a position to to be in the conversation. Sports director Brad Hansen breaks down that struggling offense and a whole lot more from the Vikings game with rookie defensive lineman Tyler Lancaster and Packers Hall of Famer Johnny Gray on Pack Attack. That airs right here after the newscast. While well, Milwaukee is back on the road after a six-game homestand and after trailing by as much as 25 points last night, the Bucks' fourth quarter comeback push came up just short. Milwaukee started hot in the opening minutes, especially from beyond the arc, connecting on eight of ten threes, but that foundation crumbled. Charlotte for 16 turnovers limited Milwaukee to a season low 40 points in the paint and played its best defensive game of the season. They got us in a pretty big hole um, after a good start by us and then it just flipped and you know for two and a half quarters we were kind of not able to match them but uh, proud of the group for finding a way to fight back. Um, we had a bunch of chances late. Um, you know, just couldn't quite convert. And, uh, you know, but we'll learn from tonight and we'll get better. The Wisconsin Badgers men's basketball team is off to its best start to a season since 2014. The obvious scouting report on Wisconsin this year is contain Ethan Happen. Rightfully so. He's been the Big Ten player of the week three straight times to open the season. But teams also have to keep an eye on Demetric Trice. He missed 23 games last year, but is making up for that now. He has made 20 triples on the season and is shooting nearly 60% from the floor. The Badgers have a Big Ten ACC challenge tonight against NC State. Confidence that I'm playing with um, and just the trust that I have and the trust that the coaches are putting in me and also the players is just... Um, as well as uh, um, at an all-time high. So I would say that just the confidence that I'm playing at is where, what's egging on my um, shooting ability. So obviously a tough one tonight, and then a brutal road stretch. They have uh, Iowa and Rutgers coming up in the Big Ten. All right. Thanks, Alexis. What do we have?